Who was Falcone working for? What were the drugs and where were they going? Gordon's partner, Detective Flass, would know. Falcone split his shipment in two. Only half of it was drugs. What was the rest? Some kind of chemical. Something hidden. It goes to the Narrows. To who? An, an, an Arkham doctor. His name's Crane. Jonathan Crane. Where is Crane? The Narrows. I don't know where the doctor is, but the toxin's being relayed from the abandoned science museum. If you find the chemical shipment, you can find Crane. Who does know where to find Crane? The pilot. There's an Arkham pilot on the roof. He's moving the toxin from Crane to us. He can lead you to him. I like the way he just opened the door like, What up, bro? Mission failed. Oh, okay, good. Let's try this again a different way. All right. Is this door open? Nope. Oh, there's a guy there. Well, that's nice. What does that have to do with anything, though? We're supposed to be able to use the, um... Smokestacks to get over? What's the point here? Oh, there's a thing here. Okay. But why? Oh, there we go. Okay. So far, so good. Noise, noise. Making my way through things. It's kind of like. You know what? I don't know what it's like. It's just weird. Grab the ledge. Thank you. Okay. Batarang. Oh, I guess we could have gotten a little bit lower there. What if I go this way? That move was too much for the Xbox. What can we do? I don't know. Here we go. No helicopter for you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not dead. I'm Batman. One down. 
Two down. Eat it, bitch. I'm Batman, you scared I'm shitless. I'm what the fuck was that? <laughs> ah, that was horrible. <laughs> Alright, come on. Tell me where your boss is. What the? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't work for anybody. Lies! You work for Dr. Jonathan Crane. And you're gonna tell me where he is. Uh, did you just freeze on me, stupid game? It sure did. I was at the end of this freaking game, and it froze on me. That hurts, man. That hurts a lot. All right, I'll, I'll pick it up back up when it doesn't freeze. <laughs> Lies! You work for Dr. Whoa. Jonathan Crane, and you're gonna tell me where he is. I can't. Crane's got my brother in his hospital. <coughs> Whatever you do to me, he'll do worse to Walter. If I let you go, leave Gotham. Don't come back. Never talk to Dr. Crane again. If he knows I'm coming, I'll know it was you. Okay. Whatever you say. I swear, you'll never see me again. Suppose that's it, huh? You, you won't regret this. That was unexpected. He's gonna try to use me as leverage to get his brother released from Arkham. I'll hitch a ride once the helicopter's airborne. He'll lead me right to Dr. Crane. There's a lack of mercy I expect from you, sir. Hey guys, Yusuf for Dad's free time. Let's play is getting it in. So I have a confession to make. I totally, for some reason, didn't didn't get the audio. Like I was trying to use OBS, and then the audio didn't didn't go. OBS being the streaming service. Oh goodness gracious! I guess it doesn't matter if he tells on you or not. But anyway, I'm uh. I'm doing this while my mother-in-law is in town and she's teaching the kids how to play Uno, which is, you know, I can't miss out, out on that fun. I like to watch other people teach my kids, see if, uh, see if they got any better techniques. She's doing a great job, though. I'm not just saying that because she's my mother-in-law and she's in the room. She didn't really speak English that well anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyway, this will allow me the chance to talk smack. Uh-oh. Dude, you think Batman would give a shit if uh, the pilot got massacred? Tell them Batman's coming. He definitely killed that guy, right? Batman's coming. How are you sure that guy's not gonna die? Ugh. Yeah, that's I from the beginning. I called Fox when your condition worsened. He synthesized an antidote. I felt these effects before, but never so strong. Patients suffering delusional episodes often focus their paranoia on an external tormentor. In this case, a scarecrow. Rachel's inside Arkham Asylum trying to tie Dr. Crane to Falcone. I have to protect her. This is where we make the medicine. Perhaps you should have some. Clear your head. I'm a little confused. So was he at Arkham Asylum when, when the helicopter guy got beat up? Or was that where the helicopter guy landed so he could get away? I can't remember from the beginning of the game. 
I could have sworn we were just kind of like in a shipping thing. Yeah, no, that stinks. I need a way to get inside the asylum. Might I suggest donning a pair of tights and pretending you're a pantser? Cute. How do I get to Rachel? Miss Dawes is undoubtedly being held somewhere in the basement. Although I'd advise against a front assault, sir. The main gates appear to be well not crawling with Crane's criminals. Alright, so let me get this straight. A guy could start to think Dr. Crane's got a thing for us. What, is this place next? We're carting all these gas charges up top, aren't we? Yeah, but it's to room 45. Just storage. Probably some kind of a backup thing. I don't know. I can't see the doc passing a chance to set something on fire. But he loves this place. Where he keeps all his toys. I'll wager a donut and a cup of coffee in this place is ashes by this time tomorrow. It's a bet. A donut and a cup of coffee, huh? Oh, don't make some risky ass bets. That suck if it was turn the ashes, and he was like, uh, "All right, let's go to the police precinct. Free, free coffee, free donut." Anyway, so I'm trying to get this straight. So at the beginning, Batman went after Crane and got doused with the the uh, serum, the drug, right? So that's what happened. Then we cut to a flashback in which he was just going after Falcone and found out the existence of the drug, right? And then I like I like the stealth kills way better than the uh, actual takedowns, by the way. Although I don't know how just like hammer fisting somebody in the chest is a for sure knockout plan that doesn't kill people, but okay. I guess it's better than a uh, straight up concussion. So anyway, I, I, I assume I'm pausing because I'm still trying to make sense of the story <laughs> and I don't know where to go. So let, let me, uh, so when he ran in, so <laughs> once he caught Falcone, tried to figure out his way to figuring out who Dr. Crane actually was, right? And that's when he needed the uh, detective, the dirty detective. And he went and caught up with him at a random warehouse that Falcone used as a storage place, right? And he caught up to him in the secret area where uh, Zaz was hanging out. You're kidding me. What? You got a car alarm? I can't stand that crap. So don't touch my car. I haven't had six straight hours of sleep in a month. Because of those things. Got my nerves all jangly. I happen to like my car. Somebody wants to mess with it up. That car Great. alarm's not gonna do a damn bit of good here. Think about it. There's nobody for a mob of lunatics and criminals. Think about it. when my car is off. Now there's something there ought to be a law about. Robbing somebody, assault. At least that shows initiative. Putting a sign on the car is just a, mm, what do you call it, public nuisance. That's the dumbest conversation ever. Anyway, I'm just trying to let you know about the alarm, how important that alarm is. Anyway, um, so then he talks to, to uh, the detective and finds out exactly what everything is, right? See what I'm talking about? We didn't do that. Somebody's here. You see anybody? Public nuisance. Batman! See, that would be cool if Batman told jokes. He'd be like, Did you know that car alarms are a public nuisance? <laughs> Keep your car quiet, sir. Batman! <coughs> Love those rims. Love those rims. Look at those tires, though. Whose tires look like that? Is that the realism we're going for? What, what was wrong with just straight up black tires? I don't get it. That car's got the right tires, though. That car, crappy tires. 
this put a little paint on it it looked like somebody it looks like they rode through powder and then somebody peed on them <laughs> anyway just happened to know that the tires irritated me in the original playthrough uh, so he goes to talk to the detective and the detective tells him exactly what the uh what the compound is but he doesn't dr thomas thank you for bringing your concerns regarding dr crane's behavior to the board blow the whistle are indeed disturbing and frankly hard to believe if not outright fantastic dr crane is a highly respected and longtime member of our staff we hope that you have not made these accusations lightly and urge you not to make them publicly. I mean, is Dr. Crane not a creepy Since the dude? Does not handle interpersonal matters. I have taken the liberty of forwarding your note to human resources. I suggest that you thoroughly document Dr. Crane's alleged threats and behavior for your own protection should legal action be required by either party. Regards, Doug Hunter, PhD. Wow. Yeah, he should have built a better case then. Everybody knows it. New messages. First new message. Emma, hey, it's Jonathan here. Listen, call me. I couldn't really make sense of your message, but if you think you're in danger, then get out of there. Seriously, call me. Second new message. <laughs> sure. This is a message for Dr. Thomas from Arkham HR. Your concerns about another doctor's experiments really are in our jurisdiction. We've passed them along to internal reviews. But we're happy to update your security code. Your new digits are 4563. Make sure you've erased this message once you've noted the code. Nice. So yeah, everybody knows that you're supposed to build a case because it's just hard to, uh accuse people of anything so you just wait patiently while they screw up over and over again and you document everything in a manner that doesn't look like you faked stuff you know that way when you want to uh, get somebody fired or something like that it's just a lot easier to do it I've never had to thank goodness Two new messages. First new message. Emma hey it's Jonathan here Listen, oh, me, whatever. I couldn't really make sense of your message, but if, if you think you're in danger, then get out of there. Did Seriously, I forget the number already? Call me. I forgot the number, didn't I? Message. This is a message for Dr. Thomas from Arkham HR. Oh, no, I didn't. I your just accidentally pushed the button. Experiments really aren't our jurisdiction. Hoping there was some more stuff in there. But we're happy to update your security code. Your new digits are 4563. Make sure you've erased this message once you've noted the code. I feel like if a guy's banging his head on the wall, I should probably put him in a padded cell, but that's just me. But yeah, anyway, you're supposed to build a case, and thank goodness it's never happened to me. I'm just an annoying dude who doesn't really, doesn't really talk to anybody. I'm the type of person who floats in the offices every now and then and talk to people about their families <laughs> like do all the work I can possibly do and then I start floating around talking to talking to uh, secretaries about about uh, if, what they did for Thanksgiving come on what are you doing Yoop. Talking to my little daughter. I've got a security <sighs> gate in my way. Yes, sir. Asylum plans show a more than adequate lockdown system in place. Can they be opened remotely? Shut gate 17. Shut it now. One of Crane's gas crazed freaks got loose. If only I had a cattle prod. Was that him trying to open it remotely? He didn't even answer the question. Oh no. no. Wow. <laughs> I'm Batman. Remotely. 
So yeah, fortunately I haven't had to do that. Uh, usually that sort of thing ha happens with Shut ladies. Only I, actually, when I was in grade school, I did have a kid try to build a case against me. <laughs> oh, because he got in trouble and he wanted to prove that everybody else was doing I dumb shit. So it was like a... Uh, Crane didn't insist on using those drug-crazed gimps as his guard dogs. Yeah, they're like animals. Nah, you can scare an animal. Control it. These things, though, I don't know what they are. What do you think he sees, anyway? What, that poor bastard? Yeah. I don't want to know. Hey, do you know what Crane ended up doing with the rabbits? Throw them out, I imagine. Damn. I was thinking I could give one to my daughter. You're not worried about the, what's it called, residue? Really? Or whatever chemical that guy got a dose of. Nah, that stuff was in plastic. I'm sure it's fine. Besides, she's got a thing for rabbits, my daughter. Wow. Holy shit. Six next month. Father of the year, everybody. Anyway. Yeah, it was in grade school. A, a kid was trying to build a case for all of us because he got in trouble for something. So he started keeping track of everything anybody in the class did wrong when the teachers weren't around. And uh, then he accidentally left the paper in, in the locker room, which was like... Really, dude? I didn't confront him about it. Oh, get him! Get him! They're like a bunch of adamantumless wolverines up in here. Just. Oh, wow! He came back! Did you see that? <laughs> it was like, there's no way I'm going down from some loser! He, he one-punched the dude from the floor. Like some old UFC ground and pound. Oh my. Help me! Somebody! So yeah, anyway, because this, this fighting's pretty bad. So yeah, that's the only the only time I, I heard about it. Um, most of the time, I get in trouble in work for being too social or whatever. You know, it wasn't really a problem to, to stop it immediately and apologize. I'm not that kind of dude. I'm not like a uh, Travis Kalanick who just like screams about how other people suck. I have morals, which is which is why I'm not rich. <laughs> anyway, Batman has morals for some reason, but only Batman. Uh, Bruce Wayne, he probably doesn't have morals and probably does a whole bunch of shysty millionaire crap that he thinks is common practice. I think it's very interesting that as Batman, he could be like a guy who actually gives a shit. Even though in this game, he doesn't seem to give... You know, he gives a shit, but not two shits. You know what I'm saying? He gives a nut, but it's not the left one. Because he's like... He'll... He'll, uh... He'll somewhat let a helicopter guy go free. That thing shocked me a few hours back. No kidding. You're lucky it didn't fry you crispy. Sure as hell has enough juice to. Right. I'm luck all over. Sure. Shock therapy probably did you good. Anyway, um, yeah, he doesn't seem to give two shits. He seems to want to destroy everybody, which is kind of funny. <laughs> It's like it's a it's a raving lunatic. Oh, he doesn't really fight the raving lunatics. Fortunately for him, everybody else beats the the uh, insane people, and uh, he just beats up the people after he's beaten the insane people. That's that's good for business. Wonder why Batman doesn't use knockout gas? Why he just beats the crap out of everybody? 
I think knockout gas would be a little bit more humane. I don't like being out in the open like this. I don't want to be here when that. <laughs> I'm Batman. That was real smooth, y'all. So anyway, uh, back to the story. So then the doctor told him what it was. Then he followed the helicopter guy. And the helicopter guy went to the warehouse. No, the chemical plant. Campbell, that guy couldn't see Christmas coming. Just get the skylight fixed and let's get out of here. The doctor said this skylight is top priority. What does he care about upkeep? I thought we were history as soon as Crane got in the plumbing. Hmm. Yeah, but this is right over the power station. Another hard raid could sink us. Fine. Just get it fixed fast. I don't like this. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Good thing they talk very loudly. Um. Yeah, so then it led, led me to the chemical plant because that's where Crane was, right? He, he led us to the chemical plant. And then when I found Crane, he doused me. And then he, uh... And then I was out for a while, and then Lucius Fox got the antidote and gave it to me. Then I have the antidote, but we haven't said anything about that weapon, right? The, uh... They don't really believe in the Batman, do you? The machine that evaporates water. Nah. Oh, I know. Whoa. Where did Campbell go? What? Campbell's gone. Jason. Jason, you there? Oh, crap. This is trouble. I mean, I... You're making me nervous. Took him out, and then I knocked oh, him, like... Right on the ground, but okay. So, like, Jason's gone. You must have been standing where that beat up body of Jason is. I knocked him out and I threw his lifeless body on the ground, possibly to get, uh,. His head busted and maybe die. Good thing Batman isn't is like in a mask and cowl, cause you know legally he would be in trouble for all that crap. I suppose would they be even able to prove that it was Batman on the scene? Like if you were to catch Batman, couldn't the guy underneath the cowl just be like, "I just put the cowl on once." I don't know what the heck happened with those other times Batman did things. You think you think I was the same Batman? There's like 16 or 17 of them. And then I point out the uh, like the Batman Brigade or whatever from the second movie. Please, I swear I don't know anything. You don't want to end up like the other doctors, do you? No, no, please. Doctor Crane is a very private man. He doesn't like his uh, research meddled with. I don't know anything. What were you doing in the basement? I was... I was just lost. Sure you were. You weren't nosing around any canisters or nothing. All right, enough of this. Let's throw her in brain surgery and ask Crane what he wants. No, stay back! You shouldn't be here, Dr. Thomas. And you especially shouldn't have been poking around down below. That's supposed to be a British accent? Please, just let me go. It's out of our hands, sweetheart. There are natural laws about what happens to curious kittens, isn't there? Whatever. Did you know this game won a couple of awards for the best graphics on a uh, on any console or whatever? Isn't that so weird? Look at this thing. Find out what you can on a Dr. Emma Thomas. She has information on Crane. Right away, sir. And I'll need you to locate the brain surgery theater on my radar. That's where they're keeping her. Damn, sir. Makes you wonder what what it won against. I mean, because they're working really hard to get Batman's lighting correct. But, I mean, look at the way he climbs in the animation. It's horrible. The way his feet are, like, glued to the ground. 
So his ankles are all disproportionate. The fighting style, everything, just... Anything that has to do with Batman's motion is garbage. But I, I guess the backgrounds are pretty good. I don't know. Anyway, I think we're at the end.